four years on from Mexico 86 and the same two teams meet once again in the final one change from West Germany's penalty shootout win over England on Wednesday Pierre Litbatsky returns to the starting 11 in place of Olaf Thon Argentina forced into four changes after a flurry of yellow cards in their semi-final win over Italy led to several suspensions for this one can Argentina retain their crown or will West Germany lift the World Cup at the third time of asking having been beaten finalists at each of the last two World Cup tournaments Rudy Fuller who was forced off with an injury in the semi-final on Wednesday but he's made the starting lineup again for this final it'll be Bremer to take the set piece Argentina have brought everybody back including Maradona to defend this one Klinsman tries the header and Fuller over the top that's the first clear-cut opportunity of this final Klinsman couldn't direct his header on target but it almost fell into the path of Rudy Fuller this is a let-off for Argentina. This is Litbarski, who loves to surge forward. Tries the 1-2 with Hassler, and that's a free kick to West Germany in a dangerous position. Just as they did against the hosts, Italy, in midweek. Argentina have given away a flurry of early free kicks. And the referee is calling over. Zotti and it'll be a yellow card for the former Lazio striker too Litbarski is the player standing over it he's got Bremer to his left and the Argentina wall does its job Morgan Thaler is not troubling Goicochea Sergio Goicochea who was Argentina's hero in their penalty shootout win over Italy Good work in the wall from Burashaka to block the initial shot from Bremer. Thomas Bertolt for Jürgen Klinsmann. He's got plenty of support in the center. This is Voller. Not the easiest cross to attack that. Rudy Voller did well to get any sort of power onto it three goals to his name already at this World Cup for the Roma striker it was Klinsmann's cross and Nestor Lorenzo was the defender putting pressure on Voller Bremer to Voller who was fouled but he has done well to release Hassler here Litbarski leaves it for Voller Litbarski again well this is impressive stuff from West Germany It was a slick build-up, but the shot careers away off target. Pierre Litbarski looking for his second goal of this tournament. And the Cologne player really caught hold of that. Klinsmann. Bremer. Gets it back again from Litbarski. Voller's come to attack that. Oh, it was great movement from Rudy Voller. But he couldn't produce the finish to match his run. Voller does so well here to get in front of the defender. It then comes off Ruggeri. It needed to be saved by Goikachea. Germans are appealing. It may have struck the arm of the defender inside the penalty area. German's captain, Mateus. He's got Fuller and Klinsmann in the middle. Fuller again wide of the target. Well, there's no doubt that West Germany have created the best chances of this final so far. But Argentina holding firm at the back. Luciano Pavarotti looks on. He was a goalkeeper in his youth. Now a rare foray forward for Argentina in this final. Lorenzo to take the throw. Gets it back from Maradona. Now Maradona takes it up again. It's a good cross. Headed away by Lidbarski. This is Mateus. And that's a foul on Basualdo. 
free kick to the South Americans. Eduardo Corizal is the referee from Mexico. The Maradona to take. Mateus almost beaten by the bounce there. It was awkward for him. Oswaldo to Lorenzo, but well won back by Bremer. Franz Beckenbauer, who's hoping to win the World Cup as a player and a manager. It will be Litbarski to take this corner. Done by Bertold, but he can't find a teammate. This is Bremer, and away by De Zotti. Maradona to Burashaga. It's nicely weighted for Lorenzo. Cross cut out by Orgadala, but Lorenzo will get another chance here. As well, though. That's going to be a free kick for Argentina. The foul by Buchval. This could be just the sort of opportunity Argentina have been waiting for. It's Maradona, but it's below the standards we would expect to see from Argentina's number 10. Up and over the wall, but he couldn't get the dip back down again. Tolio gets it back from Boswaldo. Voller's tackle falls now for De Zotti. Boswaldo. Maradona takes a tumble in the box. It's hooked back to his goalkeeper by Bremer. Quite high risk, that back pass from the German left back. His heart will have been in his mouth for a second. There is the whistle for half-time. It is all square at nil-nil in the World Cup final. Buchval with the header. This is Hassler. On to Litbarski. This is good. Lovely movement from Litbarski. Just off target. Well, he showed lovely balance there to set up that chance. Weaving through Argentinian defenders to give himself a clear sight of goal. Quiet final so far for Maradona. But he only needs an instance to electrify any game. One back for West Germany by Bremer. This is Lothar Mateus. Still he goes. Fouled in the end by Troglio. Free kick to West Germany. They would have continued after it accidentally hit the referee, but Troglio ensured that Mateus would not continue. Bertolt to the back post. So close to a break in the deadlock. Argentina's defence has been on high alert all evening. But they didn't spot Thomas Bertolt's late arrival on the far side there. Difficult to time his lunge of the bouncing ball. Jagger can't control it. This is Hassler, unable to pick out his captain, Mateus. Nice South American skills from Borussia. However, West Germany get it back. Bremer looks for Voller. That is a foul by Pedro Monzon. again Argentina bring all 11 men back behind the ball to defend this set piece Bremer's delivery Voller so close again to putting West Germany in front
There was a wonderful whip to this cross. It curved away from the goalkeeper, invitingly towards Voller. Just couldn't stretch enough to get there properly. It's a glorious opportunity, though. Arguably the best chance of this final so far. Trollio to Maradona. Certainly some boos from the Italian crowd in Rome for the Argentina captain after his comments about the host nation last week. Maradona, a meat in the sandwich between Voller and Buchwald. A yellow card for Rudy Fuller. To their experience against him in the final four years ago, this German team is not giving Maradona an inch. Maradona. Left it for Basualdo. It's a superb tackle by Buchwald. This is Hassler. Lovely floated ball for Mateus for Klinsmann to scamper after. Chance to look up, it's too high for Voller. Rudy Voller's not giving up though, and he's got it back off to Zotti. Here is Litbarski, but always sailing high. Will West Germany end up ruining these missed chances? This was simply great pressure from Rudy Voller. And Litbarski. I think he might have had more time and space than he realised there. Nil-nil it remains. Bertolt to Mateus. Nicely worked again. Mateus with a chance to look up here. The cross looking for Klinsmann. Scrambled away by Sensini. This is Hassler. It's breathless final now. Litbarski. Back to Hassler, no way through this rugged Argentina rear guard. Klinsman picked up and not going for that one. Hassler. Bertold. Mateus again. Maradona unable to tackle him. Lorenzo certainly does at the expense of a free kick. But here's where Klinsman was hurt. Oh, it looked to push in the penalty area by Monzon. Klinsman falls awkwardly. The Inter Milan striker is okay to continue. Mateus spotted some space here for Ogatala. Out comes Kwekachea. Down goes Ogatala. Monzon clears it off the line. This was agonizingly close. Brilliant pass from Mateus to pick out Ogatala. Goalkeeper did well, sped himself. And then Troglio relieved to see Monzon clear it away. Klinsmann wins another free kick for West Germany. He scored three goals already at this tournament. Can he get the winner in this final? be Litbarski to take. It's a rehearse move this for Bremer. Oh, and I'll tell you what, it almost came off. A clean strike on the volley from the left back. And Goikachea had to scramble across to save. This was a routine direct from the German training camp. Delicately chipped from Litbarski. As the shot goes through the legs of Bukval, that might have unsighted the goalkeeper. Kachir comes well off his line, only gets the barest of touches. Ogunteller trying to keep it alive, but away by Maradona. He's gone down. Diego Maradona hits the deck just after he cleared the ball away. Argentina temporarily down to 10 men. And very sportingly, Mateus puts it out of play for Maradona to get attention. He's pointing to his mouth, insinuating he was struck in the face. Here's the replay. 
yes, Buchwald does catch Maradona with the forearm. Mateus has been finding a lot of room down that right-hand side. Argentina need to get closer to him. Bertold, Hassler, Klinsmann! Another opportunity goes a begging. And Germany are creating a lot of chances now. Surely only a matter of time before one of these flies into the net. Buchval has gone down under a challenge from Maradona. There has been some heavy treatment doled out by both sides in this final. Kohler. Klinsman. Oh, he's done well. And encouraged to keep moving by Mateus. Oh, it's a terrible tackle by the substitute, Monzon. He's already been booked, and the referee has no hesitation in brandishing a straight red card. Well, there's no doubt about it, this could be a pivotal moment in the World Cup final. Argentina, the holders, are going to have to play the last 25 minutes with 10 men. There was very little attempt to play the ball here. Monzon chopping down Klinsmann. A straight red card in Rome. The protests continue, long and loud from Argentina. But the decision stands. It's the first time there has ever been a player sent off in a World Cup final. He'd only been on the pitch 20 minutes after coming on as a sub for Oscar Ruggeri. Klinsmann back up at his feet. But Monzon, the Independiente defender, is dismissed. What was already a very difficult night for Argentina has just got even harder. Germany holds the extra man advantage now. Free kick taken by Mateus. Away by Sensini. Only as far as Bremer. Close again. Doesn't matter if it's the left boot or the right boot. Andreas Bremer, such a clean striker of the ball. Ten men of Argentina are hanging on here. Calderon to take the corner. Away by Buchval. This is Mateus. Oh, he's miscued. And down goes Calderon. Argentina wants a penalty. The referee was right beside that. And he waves play on. Well, there's certainly contact there. A tangle between the players' legs. Mateus might well be lucky. Orgenthaler. To the substitute, Stefan Reuter. Teller leaves it for Mateus. He's picked out Hassler, little pocket of space. And the shot comes in, the flag was raised anyway on the far side. Rudy Voller found himself in an offside position when it came through. Can the ten men of Argentina hang on to the prize they won four years ago in Mexico? With the extra man advantage, is it now going home with West Germany? Pazualdo's made a run after this. But well shielded out by Lota Mateus for a quarter to Argentina. And having applied so much pressure of their own in this World Cup final, West Germany would be distraught to concede a late goal now. Maradona waits in the middle. Calderon plays it short to Basualdo. Headed away by Kohler. That's commanding defending, you have to say. And now, the chance of a counter-attack. Hassler's first touch let him down a little bit. This is Calderon. Very tired touch from Basualdo. This is Mateus. He's taken it on in a strong surge 
This is Fuller, goes down, and this time it will be a penalty. Rudy Fuller fouled in the area. And West Germany, with just over five minutes remaining, have a huge chance to win this. The yellow for Trollio. Maradona leads the protests. What an opportunity now for West Germany. Mateus' through ball for Fuller. It was Sensini who made a lunge but didn't get any connection on the ball. Penalty to West Germany. And against the ten men of Argentina. A chance to finally break the stalemate here in Rome. The player stepping forward to take it is Andreas Bremer. The Inter Milan defender who did score his spot kick in the penalty shootout against England in the semi-final on Wednesday. The stakes now even higher here in the Stadio Olimpico with the eyes of the world watching. Andreas Bremer has potentially got the chance here to win the World Cup up against Goicochea, who was Argentina's hero in their shootout win against Italy in the other semi-final. Just five minutes of normal time remaining, and Andreas Bremer puts Germany in front! He shrugged off all the pressure and produced a perfectly executed penalty kick. West Germany lead 10-man Argentina by one goal to nil. On the biggest of stages, Bremer delivers. Gojkacek chose the correct side, but it was tucked in the corner. You really can't get more accurate than that. With minutes remaining and extra time beckoning, that penalty kick might just have made West Germany world champions good leap by Mateus and Argentina get it back Maradona well more frustrations for the South Americans he was coming back from an offside position oh and now it's it's all spilling over Argentina were trying to get the ball back in play. There's been a tussle between De Zotti and Collar, and the striker has been sent off. Argentina are down to nine men. Their dreams of retaining the World Cup are falling apart at the seams in row. Maradona shown yellow too. Jurgen Collar wrestled to the ground by De Zotti. That's what the red card was for. It's not over yet, but after the disappointment of losing the World Cup final four years ago in the Azteca Stadium in Mexico, West Germany are now on the cusp of gaining revenge over Argentina in Rome. Now, this is Mateus. He's got support inside from Klinsmann. Well, he went for the spectacular. As West Germany seek the security of a second goal. This could have wrapped it all up for sure. But West Germany are almost there anyway. The whistles shrill around the Stadio Olimpico. And there it is. The final whistle. West Germany are world champions. Franz Beckenbauer won the World Cup as a player. He's done it again as a coach. An attritional final came down to a penalty kick. Scored by Andreas Bremer. Argentina ending with just nine men on the pitch. The first ever red cards in a World Cup final. But from the ecstasy of winning four years ago, it is disappointment this time for Maradona. He dragged this team to the final. But they have been outfoxed by West Germany. And four days after eliminating the hosts, Italy, in the semi-final, Argentina themselves have come up short now. Wonderful scenes in Rome. 
as West Germany celebrate and Lothar Matthäus and his teammates are given a night they will never forget. Thank <laughs> you.